Our postcard today is from Elizabeth Castle in St Helier in Jersey. Elizabeth Castle. Elizabeth I, it can't be Elizabeth II. Elizabeth I, you're right. Tell us about why it's here and what did it ever do? Well, the, the thing that tourists don't really appreciate, of course, is that um, there's three islets in one now. But back in uh, the year 555, St Helier, bless him, was uh, murdered by, they thought was pirates, but uh, probably Vikings, uh, for warning the local townspeople that they were attacking again. So to put pay to him, they chopped his head off. Now that is the first um, habitation of the islets. Gradually, they put on uh, an abbey. Where we're standing at the moment was in fact an abbey. And uh, it stayed that way for a good many years. And then, uh, because of its uh, defensive position, and because the governor of Jersey was always rather unpopular, um, they decided perhaps uh, a better fortified castle ought to be built in Jersey, because the old Montorgoyer, that wasn't particularly good against cannon, modern cannon. So they decided to build a castle on the islet, and that's what you have up there, where the flag is. That is the, the bit that Sir Walter Raleigh allegedly called Isabella Bellissima. Why did he call it that? That doesn't sound very British. Well, uh, yes, of course, <laughs> but I think in those days they, they sort of fancied themselves by speaking Spanish and Italian and goodness knows what, and um, of course he was very fond of Elizabeth I, so we're told in the history books, and he called it Isabella Bellissima, the beautiful Elizabeth. But, as you know from her paintings, she wasn't all that attractive. But Sir Walter Raleigh's wife, Elizabeth Throckmorton, she was a different thing, very attractive woman. So perhaps, you know, I tell people that perhaps uh, it was really named after her. But that would be a bit um, disloyal of me to say that. Now, I understand that this castle itself was linked with the restoration of the monarchy. Well, Charles II, he came here really to escape um, from uh, the forces, the roundheads uh, uh, that were attacking him in Cornwall. He wanted originally to land in the Scilly Islands, but uh, it was so rough that they carried on. Now, Guernsey was um, not the best place to be because they weren't very pro-royalist, so he came here. And uh, his first visit, he came here as Prince of Wales. And uh, then he moved off and then came back uh, once he'd been pronounced King, Charles II. And he arrived here with the Duke of York. And they stayed here for quite a long time. Um, quite a drain on the resources of the island, but at least he was safe here. And eventually, uh, de Cartwright was recognised as having been a friend of the King and given quite large estates in, uh, in America as a result. New Jersey. Yeah, that's of course New Jersey. Well, there we are. So, well, you've got this situation then where uh, this castle, which looks as though it might not have seen any action, actually played a tremendous part in the real British Isles history. Well, that's right, and it continued from there, of course, because it was such a good fortress. It protected the harbour of St Helia, which is the only really deep water harbour in uh, the whole of the uh, islands. And, of course, the Bay of St Oban that was so convenient um, for landing forces on. And then by sticking huge cannon on the area here that we call the Grand Battery, manning it by the expert artillerymen of the day, the Royal Artillery, uh, they were able to form quite a strong defensive position. And it never came under attack, not directly. But it provided that um, defence system that prevented the French actually attacking full frontal, if you like, into Jersey itself. So it was a great deterrent then for the a rest of those deterrent. years. And it worked very well indeed. I think actually now Elizabeth Castle could be remembered for one very important thing. It's become your playground, hasn't it? Oh indeed, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I'm going to leave you now to go and do a little bit of dressing up. I think we'll leave you with a very different guise. Lift! Lift, lift, right, lift. Swing those arms. Lift. 